as I say with Yeezy reviews, if you've seen one, you've kind of seen them all. But at least there's a little bit something different this time. What's good guys, Ash Bash, back again with another sneaker review. And this is for the Yeezy 700 V3. Azael? Azeal? Az I don't know. So yes, Yeezy season continues in December. And that is one, two, three, four, I think five pickups that I've done um, this December. <sighs> Add that up, it's not good reading. But yeah, um, at least, like the Alien review that I did for the 380s, at least there's something new this time. With the 700 in the V3. It's kind of, some people have actually said they kind of seen this being like the 350 V3 rather than a 700 range, and I kind of see what they're talking about. But let's show you the shoe and you can decide for yourself. So like every Yeezy that's come out before it, it comes in your standard brown box with big 700 on the front. But the only thing different is where, where, where's that boost branding? There is no boost, unfortunately. Well, some might actually say fortunately, but we can talk about that as well. Let's open this up, show you the shoe. And boom, here is the sneaker in all its futuristic 700 crazy, crazy, craziness. So yeah, um, this shoe, um, I'd say it's polarizing, but to be honest, I think most people that saw it originally kind of liked it. But one of the things like off the bat that sort of threw me and through most people is the color of the shoe. In the early pictures that I saw that Yeezy rocking it or even I saw online, don't know if they changed it, but to me, this shoe looked like a white shoe, to be honest. I don't even know what it's coming up like on this camera. Hopefully it's coming in the right color. But it is more of that sort of herringbone, beigey, off-white kind of colour for the most part on this sort of cagey kind of area to the shoe. And yeah, in the videos and stuff, I thought it was like a white shoe. And seeing it in this actually makes it look a bit better. And the fact it's glow in the dark uh, kind of makes sense as well now for that. But yeah, uh, let's get some close-ups, show some details of this shoe. So first off, silhouette-wise, it's kind of familiar, but also kind of different. It obviously has that crazy slant that you found on the 380s. So it seems to be a thing that's going forward with the whole Yeezy thing. People say it's more of a performance shape. As I said, it's similar to what you found in the Zoom Flies and whatnot, but different to what you'd find normally on a 350 or a 750, 7, 700 uh, beforehand. Some of the similarities that you do find with the shoe though is this front part of the shoe here, where it's got that sort of U shape. You had that on the 700 V2s and the V3s before, where this one is in this kind of rubbish material. Before it used to be in either a sort of suede or like a ruffled suede uh, before. So that's different, but the part that stands out the most obviously is the lateral and medial sides, this whole caging area of the shoe, which is way different to what you found on your standard 700s. 700s before have been made normally of like either leathers, mesh, suede and whatnot. Whereas this is technically underneath it all, kind of feels like a 350 kind of, cause it's mostly like a mesh shoe to be fair, but it's still different. It's like part and part of one shoe and another shoe. So starting on the lateral side, which is pretty much similar as the middle side anyways, underneath this is what they're calling, I think it's RPU, which is rigid polyurethane or something like that. It's basically like a stronger version of a mesh, basically. Kind of softish to the touch, but you can feel like a rigidness behind it. You know, like if you have the fly knit, you have that the fly wire. We've got a little bit behind it. Kind of feels similar-ish to that. But it's done in a sort of pattern, similar-ish to what you found on the V2 Statics. You would kind of think, oh, there's the three stripes, but not really. There's a million stripes here. Then there's like three stripes here. Then there's four stripes here. So I don't know if there's really like a three stripe pattern in it, to be honest kind of like a mixed bag so I don't know where they're going with that whether it's supposed to be lines because it doesn't look like it's representing the three stripes with this pattern but if you see the big old bits here I guess that is technically what the three stripes is going to be but then that one is also kind of there as well so again is it four stripes is it three stripes I don't know but that's what they're doing there towards the lower part of the shoe here you find a different mesh 
on here it looks like it could possibly be um, transparent I haven't actually worn it with a different kind of sock so I will show you that if it does but this part here is in a different kind of mesh seems a bit softer and it could be transparent pretty sure it is to be fair let me see if I put my finger there yeah it is put my finger there you can see right through it so this part here is transparent a nice little touch obviously something new to the 700 line as well um medial side is pretty much exactly the same nothing crazy different to see here obviously on the previous shoes these two sort of back bits are normally 3m the seeing is this normally like this is like an overall mesh shoe it's just that same rpu mesh behind there back of the shoe is pretty much the only branding that you'll see on the shoe where it has the adidas um old school training logo at the back of the shoe there and the part of the shoe which is probably the most interesting and kind of feels different is this whole tongue setup. First of all, towards the bottom part of the tongue, it does have two hits of 3M. Yeah, he loves his 3M, he had to throw it on somewhere, so he's throwing it on here with these two little parts here. But other than that, it is this um, very puffy tongue, but it feels like, I don't think anyone would have to actually have the shoe to know it, but there is a Ronnie Feig Puma that came out, which was, I'm trying to think what model it was. It was a collaboration with Ronnie Fai, Heist and I buy a, but I can't remember the name of it, but I posted a picture of it anyways. But it had a very similar-ish sock liner feel to this. It's kind of like the A6 Joe Light 5s, basically, that kind of sock liner-ish thing. So you put it on, there is a tongue, but it's not like a tongue that can move up, move down. It's literally fixed to the sides of the shoe. And the laces are like extra, extra stretchy laces. They're black rope laces, but they have this weird sort of stretch to them. It's not like a normal lace where you can tie it. This one, you can literally stretch it out, which is, I don't know, different, but kind of works. Um, like the 380s, I found these a little bit trickier to get on because this little opening here is pretty tiny. I don't know if you can see. And I've got wide feet, so it's not the easiest thing to get on, but it does move about easiest easily enough so it can be got on but yeah once you get it on that's when we talk about the sizing so my friend got this pair first and i think he went half a size up and he said god damn these are super tight and it's not like the size of the shoe or anything like that it's like what you find if a lot of adidas shoes i find this toe box is super shallow and as i said this new rubberized material they're using doesn't have a lot of giving it same with this um, new kind of technology for this RPU mesh. Doesn't have a lot of give in it as well. So your toes kind of feel a little bit pressed down. So I personally, in all my Yeezys anyways, luckily I go a full size up. I'm a UK 10 in Jordans, like Jordan 1s and stuff. In Yeezys, I wear a UK 11. Most people go up half a size. Uh, so take as it, <laughs> take as it if, how you um, want to take it. But me personally, I can rock these, as I said, full size up, and it fits me fine. I can feel a little tiny bit of pressure on the toe sort of area. Take out the insole, then it fits even nicer. So taking out the insole is an option. I think my friend does that as well, and he said it fits better. So, reality, I would have gone up a size and a half. Same as the 380s. I got them a full size up. I think a size and a half would have been extra perfect, which is absolutely crazy. Like, I'm not a size 11 and a half. I'm a 10, why am I buying 11 and a half? But I think that's um, kind of how it fits to me. So uh, hopefully, as I said, it was quite a limited release. I was surprised. I thought there was gonna be everywhere for some reason, but it wasn't. These actually retailed for cheaper, cheapest Yeezy in recent times anyways. Back in the day, Yeezy 350s used to be 150. So that's the cheapest they've been. But these were 170, I believe, 170 pounds for reference in the UK. 350s are 180, uh, 380s I believe were sold for 200 and 700s V1 and V2 are 250 so as reference so cheaper than any of the recent Yeezys uh, that have come out and that is because no boost in the shoe no boost in the shoe and how the design is I'll show you the sole first of all this light blue sole very cool very similar, it might even be exactly the same as the 380 Aliens. I'm not too sure, I can't remember off the top of my head. But yeah, normally you have the pods here where you would get the boost. So it, in my mind, it kind of feels like they had thought about it, because that's the design. 
but maybe they thought to cut costs. I can't think why they would think to cut costs, but this one, I believe from what I've read, doesn't even have Adiprene Plus, is which I thought it was gonna have, which is actually really comfortable. It's just like a standard basic sort of EVA standard sole, so nothing extra special, which is surprising for a boost, especially a shoe that is 170. Yeah, it's cheaper than other Yeezys, but still a high price. But with all that said, gonna chuck them on feet, show you what they're like, let go. And we're back, that was a quick look at the Yeezy 700 V3 as a yell, I think that's how it's pronounced, uh, on feet. Anyone know the reason behind all these sort of God themed names, like these Jewish versions of the Yeezy's names? I don't know, it's something he seems to be doing. Obviously he's done the whole God is King and all that sort of stuff, but I'm not too sure why he's using that for these shoes. Maybe, maybe something cool for him. But yeah, uh, overall, I would say the shoe is surprisingly fire. Like, at very, very first, I wasn't 100% sure. Because he's been rocking these quite a lot. It seems like he likes them. Like, he's rocking them hardcore. When I watched a little video from the Sunday service, he was rocking these back in the day. Obviously, he gave this pair to Khaled as well. And yeah, they're actually pretty fire. Comfort-wise, I'd say they actually pretty comfortable, to be fair. Like, there's no boost, obviously. And boost is a thing. Boost is comfortable. But I find... Myself and a few people have actually said it as well like rocking boost is comfortable at first But after like a long day, I kind of get foot fatigue I don't know if it's like it's too soft or something. So hopefully after wearing this for a while it will be good for my feet, but You won't know until I do a big ass wear test that I haven't worn these out Properly yet to even judge that to be fair and Honestly the colorway is like the worst time of the year for it to come out like why is this coming out in December Obviously, he lives in LA, so it's different. It's sunny all the time. But UK, it is time where it's going to be rainy every day, possibly snowing. So it's not really the time to be rocking like a white shoe, which is white, gray, and sort of this off-white color. But it is what it is. Overall, I like the shoe. Surprised that it's super limited. Like, So it makes me even happier that I managed to get it. But yeah, um, I've seen pictures of a black colorway coming out. They look fire. If I do get them, I will be going up half a size more than I already said, just to make sure they fit even better. So keep your eyes um, ready for that in 2020. I'm sure there's gonna be had a lot of Yeezys as usual. I've got loads of pairs now, and I probably need to get rid of a few because I don't wear some of these old colorways that I have anyways. But that's enough waffle. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed the video. Follow me on Instagram, Ashbash Sneakers and my twitter and all the information you could probably want to know is down below in the description if not just send me a message and i'll get back to you as soon as i can hopefully you enjoyed ash bash signing out let y'all